Hello and welcome to the first installment of the BC Student Help Desk's new tutorial series. My name is Navar, and in this video we will be going over some basic Windows 10 tips and tricks. Windows 10 takes the best parts of Windows 7 and Windows 8 and melds them together. If the last version of Windows you used was Windows 8, you'll be happy to know that the Start menu is back. Clicking on the newly updated Windows icon in the bottom left corner of your screen will open the Start menu. The All Programs button is now gone, and instead, all of your installed software is now shown by default. Shortcuts can be created by right-clicking on a piece of software, and either sending it to the Start menu, the taskbar, or by dragging it to the desktop. Speaking of shortcuts, I have a handful of quick keyboard shortcuts that may make navigating Windows a little bit easier. Pressing the Windows key by itself will open up the Start menu. If you press both the Windows key and the L key, it will lock your computer, requiring you to enter your password before using your computer again. Ideally, this should be done anytime you leave your computer. The Windows key plus P keys are used to switch between projection modes. You can use either mirrored or extended. I will elaborate on this later. And if you hit the Alt plus Tab keys, it is used to quickly cycle through open windows. This next tip is probably my favorite. Windows 10 has a built-in universal search bar. The fastest way to open any program is to click on the search bar or hit the Windows key and just start typing the name of the application. This also works for finding documents stored on your computer. Taking screenshots and snippets of your screen can be useful in any number of ways. To do this, we are going to open up the snipping tool using our universal search bar. From here, you can select New, and then drag a rectangle around what you want to snip. This can be saved in many different formats. The settings window is different from what you may be used to. From the start menu, select the cog in the lower left. From here, you can change the screen resolution, change your background, add printers, and do many other customizations. Alternatively, if you would rather use the old control panel, that can be accessed through the universal search bar. As mentioned before, you can connect to an external display using either mirrored or extended modes. Mirrored will show an exact copy of your screen on the extra display, while extended will give you an extra display to use. Windows can be dragged freely between displays. This can allow you to have information you don't want students to see on your display while having work up for them on the other. Swapping between the two modes is as easy as hitting the Windows and P keys and selecting the correct display mode. Windows 10 gives you a quick and easy way to switch between audio output devices. Click on the volume control in the taskbar. If you are plugged into an external device with audio, your projector or TV for example, a pop-up menu will be available. Click on the up arrow and select the audio device you want your sound to come from. The last tip I have is minimizing all of your windows. If you're like me, having many different windows and applications running is an inevitability. Sometimes, things get lost behind other screens, and it's easiest to start from a clean desktop. By mousing down to the bottom right of your main display and clicking the corner, you can minimize all of your open windows. That's all I have for you today. I hope some of these tips will prove useful to you this year. Like the video and subscribe to our channel, and make sure to ring the bell to be notified of new content. This has been Navar with BC Student Help Desk Tutorials.